I want to hear as of right now, who is your midseason MVP and why? Midseason MVP. Uh, well, when I when I think about the MVP, I'm looking at it from how well he's doing for the team and also his numbers, of course, right? Um, so obviously, uh, we will say like the four best teams in the NBA right now are the Suns, Warriors, uh, the Bulls, and maybe the Heat. Question the Heat mark, question mark 76ers and then Memphis, right? I'll say five teams. Sure, those are the yeah. best five teams, right? Um, but if you're looking at those five teams, I mean, there's only two players really playing unbelievable basketball right now on a consistent basis, and that's Joel and Demar. Uh, so as of right now, I think it's those those two at the top, but. I mean, you have Jokic out there. He's doing really good for the Nuggets right now. I mean, they're the sixth seed. Uh, they finished out the season before the All-Star break on a good note. They beat my Warriors. I think they just beat the Kings last night. Then you have uh, Joel and DeMar. And I don't think I don't think Steph is up there anymore only because he had that, that dry spell. In, um, There's five guys that yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he had that dry spell these last two months. Now, I think he'll have a better second half to the season, but... I don't think he's going to get it. So, I mean, right now, bro, like, if you ask me right now, I think it's Joel Embiid. But with James Harden coming in, I think they're going to cancel each other out, unfortunately. So, I think it's the, if Okay, no, I can't I can't say who's going to be. So, right now, my MVP right now, midseason, is Joel Embiid. Right now. In, in, in so, Embiid over DeMar? Yes, midseason, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, that's your midseason. Okay. Uh, I want to call out a couple of things that he said that were absolutely wrong mm-hmm. because, um, you know, nothing new, right, my guy? So uh, <laughs> this man really said there's two guys really playing, like, you know, back, like, these two guys are the clear front runners, and he was wrong about both of them. Who's the I've clear front runner? I've, I've, I've been preaching this. He better not it's, say it. The Joker. No, the Joker not, is the MVP. It's not no, even close. it's not, bro. It is not even no, close. We had this conversation last time. Jokic is the clear, definitive front runner candidate for MVP. It's not clear at all. Right? Yes, it is. Dog. No, it's not. Look, 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 and it's no, nothing, that's nothing against DeMar. It's nothing against Joel. Mm-hmm. Giannis has played phenomenal this season, too. I've stuck with Jokic. I'm staying with Jokic. Mm-hmm. Jokic is still their clear, definitive frontrunner candidate for MVP, despite DeMar DeRozan now being the seventh person in NBA history with eight straight 35-point games, now joining Wilt Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and James Harden. What a class of players to be in, but... um. DeMar DeRozan, sorry, no. Joel, regardless if he cancels each other out with James Harden, that's we haven't figured that out yet. They debuted tonight tonight versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. Jokic is the MVP. That's just where I'm at. I just don't I just don't see why you say it's Jokic, bro. I mean, like I get that he's playing good basketball right now, but like you have to you have to be winning as well. I mean, he's not he doesn't have a better team. He's not. Do, I don't. Th- I mean, I think he's doing a very good job for the Nuggets. Don't get me wrong. He's playing unbelievable, and I think a lot of people are like, are saying that he could be the clear cut favorite only because he won the MVP last year. So he, it's easy for him to go re- repeat. But like Joel, like his last what twelve or fifteen games before All Star break, he was going insane, man. I mean, he was going insane. Like, well, let me, let me see his numbers real quick, bro. Like these last. I think I have Joel. I, I say too. since since February second, right? Go for it. This whole month of February, essentially, twenty-seven and fourteen, twenty-seven and thirteen, forty and ten, thirty-four and twelve, twenty-five and nineteen, forty and fourteen, and ten assists, nineteen, nine and six, forty-two, fourteen and five, and thirty-six, ten and four. Mid. That is not. Those are, <laughs> and keep in mind, let me. I, I wish I could see it. Like let's let's see their record since uh, the second, right? So that's what one. Oh my bad. That thirty six and ten. That was an all star break. So let me not count that. My bad. So since one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically their last what eight games. Let me see. Hold on. What's their what's their record? 
The 76ers? Yeah, I'm talking about like, like the last 10 games, like how many games they oh, won compared okay, to the okay. Nuggets. You can just look at the standings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're 6-4 they're in their last 10 games, right? That's fine. And then the Nuggets are... I'm six and four. Six and four in the last <laughs> ten games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So six and four. Yeah. But I mean, they're the six seed, bro. I mean, you got yeah. Joel has some boys in the third seed. Okay. No Michael Porter, no Jamal Murray. Come on, dog. He's carrying Capazzo on his back. That little Argentinian little boy. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I get it, bro. He's playing really good. He's also been really good defensively this year. I think he's like what the, 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 the number one a, center he, defensively. He, he has, the, I was gonna say, he has a higher defensive win share than than Joel Embiid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. The thing is with Embiid, he like he would finish this the regular season right now if it ended today, the highest single season player efficiency rating ever recorded in NBA history. Jokic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing all of this. And that's my dog whining oh, in the good. background. I can hear her. Yeah. But okay, so we've got our MVPs. We won't even get too too deep into that because we still got some other awards to cover. I gotta say one thing though about the MVP. What's up? And I think, like I said, I think the reason why like people are so pushing this M- uh, Jokic Jokic M- MVP like part two again because he won it last year. My God! But I'm I, we really saw this from Steph last year, and he didn't. Now, of course, Jokic is more likely to make the playoffs this season, but Steph had a worse team last year and went on a, a kill sh- kill streak these la- like the last like two Boy, months of the, the season. Playing though, but still, I mean, like, like th- does the MVP count as towards winning anymore? Yes. So okay. So if he stays at the six seed and Joel, let's say Joel, for some reason Joel and the seven seeds get to the second seed. I mean the first seed. Okay. Do you still get and eating it and they they both playing the same? Okay. Do you still get the MVP, the Jokic? Yes. No, bro. Yes. No, no, no. Because then no CD Michael, comes in the place. No Michael Porter, no Jamal Murray as of yet. Well, Jamal Murray and Michael Porter are coming. So. Porter Jr. had back surgery back no, in December. They're, they're, they said they're, they said um, it was a report that came out that said okay. they're on the way coming. As we speak, they haven't they haven't stepped back on that court yet. No, I'm just saying like I'm as as, as the like, season as the season continues, you add in Jamal Murray, Michael MPJ, who I don't think is really that much of a difference maker in my opinion. Uh, he's yeah, he's but overpaid. Jamal Murray for yes, sure. Yes. Jamal Murray for sure. So you add in Jamal Murray, right? And Jokey still plays the same. Hey, shout out to Jamal Murray's girlfriend real quick. But go on. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if Jokic keeps up this play. Along with Jamal Murray coming in, you put him in an offense, but also you have um, someone like Joel getting James Harden and his play keeps up, and they get the one seed and they stay where they're because I, I honestly the Nuggets are the six seed. I don't That's think the Nuggets. I mean, the Nuggets they could pass the Mavericks, they could is, be up the five. But my thing is with that argument is they're not in the play-in regardless. If they fall into a play-in, you got a fair argument. Bro, they're not is, in the play-in. This is gonna be the first time since what Russell Westbrook that. A number six seed, yes. Yes. But Westbrook didn't deserve whoa. whatever. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, look, he did. Look, yes, he did. I, <laughs> that is a completely different topic we get into, but I'm not I'm not finna get into that. I, I, I could go on and on about Russell Westbrook. He did deserve the MVP. We're not going to sit up here and lie. But we can continue with the awards, though. He was going crazy. Now, yes, that might be like one of them, um, what do they call it? Like Anomalies? Uh, yeah, anomalies. An anomaly. <laughs> Once in a lifetime things. He did but, four out of the last five seasons. But that wasn't pretty insane what he did that season. But... Carry on. Whatever. Carry on. 